It's a new day! Welcome to New Day. Peter White has enjoyed a love affair with music for more than four decades, playing in his youth alongside the likes of Linda Ronstadt, Billy Joel, and Queen. As a member of Al Stewart's band, he co-wrote one of Stewart's biggest hits from the 70s, Time Passages. He continues to perform and record. His latest solo album is entitled Groovin'. He's performing at Demetrio's Jazz Alley this weekend, but we're excited to have him here first. Please welcome Peter White. Remember that song? I do, I yeah. do, and I was trying not to sing aloud and ruin it for everybody. You know what? <laughs> I like, I like it when people sing along, do especially that there's that part. Ah, 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 ah. I always encourage the audience to sing along to that. Part. Excellent. If we'd known that, we would have whipped out a performance <laughs> for you. So, when did you first pick up a guitar? Well, it was, uh, I was seven or eight, and that was really. 
that was over 50 years ago. So uh, it just sat in the corner, actually. My, my dad bought me a guitar, it sat in the corner. No one showed me how to play it. Right. So I just started Noodling picking at the around. strings one day and, and just kind of taught myself. And there we go. And yeah, no one ever showed me anything. I just, <laughs> there was no YouTube to, to show you how to I know, how, how did to anybody play the learn anything I just kind YouTube. of flex along the strings and, and, and that's how I Do you play other instruments as well? Well, I played a little bit of harmonica. That's yeah. something I played when I was a kid and I kind of lost it for a while and I'm bringing it back. Uh, piano, I play piano. Mm -hmm. My dad encouraged me to play piano and I actually had lessons on the piano. Excellent. So, um, so you've worked with these amazing people, and I know it's just the water you swim in, so it's it's maybe not as big a deal to you as it is to, to hear about it and, and your wonderful career. Are there any of those bands that really stand out to you or partners that you you just remember well, that I, moment? I started with Al Stewart yeah, who's in wonderful. his band when I was 20 years old. Uh, and He was known as a folk singer in England, and this is before he had a lot of success um, in America, but the very first tour I did with him, this was one of the first places that we played. We came Seriously? over to play the uh, Paramount in, here in Seattle, and, and it was the biggest audience we'd ever played to, because at that time, there was a radio station that was playing his, uh, his album tracks. You know, they used to play album tracks. Yes, <laughs> I recall. And some of these songs, his songs that he wrote were very long, seven, eight minutes long songs, and um, but people, he became like a cult hero, and yeah. so we started touring, and that was my first memory of Seattle, was playing to a wonderful, you know, joyous audience here. In Which you will be doing again. Um, uh, you co-wrote Time Passages with him, right? Which is an iconic yes. song. Everybody yeah, knows it the minute it comes out. He on. said, write me a song. Do you have any ideas? And I said, <laughs> well, I've never written a song. <laughs> well, I got, there you go. I got this idea. Again. I got this idea da -da, and I started playing the, on the piano, that piano. He says, that's, we can make a song. So we did. And is, um, it, there is something so masterly about the way you play and is there something about it after all of this time where you've experimented with, you know, various groups and partners in your own writing, does it just flow out of you at this point? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very easy for me to play in, in, in my own way. And to play like me. Yes. <laughs> well, to find your because when you start way. in the music business, very often you're being asked to play like someone else. Right. Can you play like this? Can you play like that? And that's difficult sometimes because you can't play like someone else. And, uh, but maybe you're but, not sure what day, you is like yeah, yet. Yeah. And one day I said to Al Stewart, we were in the studio, and, he, and I said, I'm not sure how I should play this guitar uh, melody. And he says, Play it like Peter White. And I, <laughs> my life changed at that moment. Yeah. I suddenly realized, wow. I have to stop thinking about how I should play this and start feeling how the feeling will, will dictate how, how the music comes out because it's all about feeling, it's not about thinking. If, you, if you're thinking, you're not feeling. And this goes for life too. I'm I was about to see? say this is good life advice, good life advice. just for, be especially your authentic for, self. Especially for a musician, if you, if you can see a musician thinking, then they're not feeling and they're not really playing music. Interesting. So what's next for you? What's this new album like? The new album is old, all old songs. Uh, Groovin, yeah. 1967, The Young Rascals, when they were still young. Yes. <laughs> and uh, lots of other old songs from, from my childhood. Um, it's actually my third album of all those old songs because, you know, they don't write songs like this anymore. Yeah, true. These, this was a classic era of, of pop music, 60s and 70s, and I'm really a pop fan. You know, I'm described as a jazz musician. I'm really not. I'm a, I'm a pop guy, I l grew up listening to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Herman's Hermits. Right. And, and, uh, and you know, this is the music I remember. I learned to play melodic so music. So did we. We all did yeah. too. And I so like to play melodic it. music that people can sing along to. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Very good. God bless you. I'll be singing right along as I listen. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. It was a joy to hear you play Thank this you. morning. Thank you very much. So Peter is performing at Demetrio's Jazz Alley in Seattle tonight through Sunday. You'll find show times and easy ticket information on our homepage. Go see him before he is gone. Up next, a mentoring program that is changing lives after this break. Yeah.